I'm moving on to some uh, a little bit of sad news. I've been talking about gun control a lot, and I feel like I need to continue to talk about this. This past Wednesday, um, they had the walk up. High school students walked out of the classes, most of them for 17 minutes, um, for um, the 1,700 kids that have died since Columbine. I'm pretty sure it's since Columbine. I'm not sure because that's just how many shootings we've had. Um, but this has nothing to do with, this has nothing to do. This isn't about a school shooting. This is about a shooting that happened at a hospital. Sad, scary, yes. I'm sorry, but we got to talk about this because these guns are not going anywhere until we make sh uh, until someone makes a decision that they need to go, right? So a disgruntled uh, worker in, a, in an Alabama hospital shot a couple of his workers and then ended up killing himself. Sad story, but let me give you a little bit of the details. A man pulled out a gun and shot two people Wednesday night inside UAB Highlands, which is affiliated with the University of Alabama at Birmingham. The man then killed himself with a shot to the head, authorities said. Um, the gunman, who was 31 years old, Travis Coleman of Birmingham, worked at UAB, as did Nancy Swift, a 63-year-old nursing manager, who he killed. The third person that was shot was um, uh, he worked uh, he worked and how it handled the, the supplies um, but his name they did not want to put it out there um, and respect um, another sad story that has to do with a, sh a shooting and I bring this up at a time like this after the students just had their walkout it's because shootings happen so often in America that we stop talking about smaller and when I say these three people are dead because of a gun but smaller situations like this will not be on the front page of the New York Times or, the, or Washington Post right it just won't be but that's how bad this country has gotten right and if enough of these kind of shootings happen what are they gonna start saying that nurses and doctors should hold on to guns like they're starting trying to say that teachers should this is it, it's horrendous. I mean, like, like this story is the scariest thing I could ever imagine. Going into work knowing that two people that you work with got shot, and then the person that did the shooting killed himself all at the hospital. Just, I'm just uh, like when I have when I do these stories, I'm just at a loss of words. I, I I just always end up being at a loss of words.